Hello, I'm Michael and in this video we're gonna focus on photographing the Kuala Lumpur skyline and we're gonna do so from three different apartment buildings. Over the next three to four weeks I'm gonna have three layovers here in Kuala Lumpur and each time I book myself into another apartment building and this one here, the first one is called the Expression Suits Hotel or not hotel, it's basically an apartment building which has like two hotels in it and then many many Airbnb units. We're currently in one of those Airbnb units. It doesn't have a direct view towards the skyline I want to photograph but that's not so important because what this apartment building has is a rooftop terrace with an infinity pool and from there I'm gonna photograph the skyline. So if you want to stay here, want to book a unit, don't focus so much on getting a unit which has a good view towards Kuala Lumpur, rather focus on getting a beautiful unit which is comfortable and not too expensive. So this one for example costs like $40 a night and if you stay in this apartment building you are allowed to get to the rooftop terrace. Currently they allow like 20 people at one time for one hour and it's 10 ringgit which is a bit more than two dollars to get up there and this evening sunset is at 7.20 so my plan is to get up there at 7.00 photograph sunset and then into blue hour and I'm gonna take you along, show you the view, maybe explain a bit about the involved equipment and then also during the next days in Kuala Lumpur I show you the other apartment buildings. If you're planning a trip to Kuala Lumpur and are interested to get more information I'm gonna leave a link to an article I've written on my homepage about those three apartment buildings and the views and also I leave links there for the different Airbnbs in which I stayed. So you can check this out. If you don't have like so many days to stay in three different buildings, you can also select based on the images I show you which one you like the most and yeah, just have there for your trip. But now enough talk with this intro. Let's just, yeah, not yet, but in like three hours, get up to the rooftop terrace, have a look around and see if we're gonna get a nice photo. So two weeks have now passed since I last spent time here in Kuala Lumpur and we're now already in the second apartment building. Let me first talk again about the first one because I didn't film as I had planned up at the pool area because I didn't want to disturb the other visitors up there. So it was enough for me setting up a tripod and taking photos for an hour. So I didn't want to film but let me give you a quick review of this area for photography and I have to say it was great much better than I expected because there was indeed a nice place where I could set up my tripod and photograph above the fairly high um, yeah, balustrade or what they had there. So they have a glass front which is nearly 1 meter 60 or even higher. So I wasn't sure if I could get my tripod above it but it was possible. So I could set it up, could take long exposures and also the view was perfect so I got a clear view of the Petronas Towers and also some nice canyon of high building skyscrapers in front of it. So perfect for taking photos. You need a big tripod. So my tripod, my new one goes up to like 1 meter 90. So at least 170 is required and also as I said make sure since they limit to 20 people to be there at the entrance lobby a bit early because I went up there a few times so the second time I had to wait a bit because there were already 20 people up there so plan this in if you're ever there but other than that they were very cool about me setting up a tripod so they don't yet have a tripod policy up there I don't think many people had up there with a tripod I haven't seen photos so this was cool could take my photos and yeah, I already showed them to you so it was definitely a good start so now about this building here, so we're at the Regalia Suits, which is more popular for photographers. So I've seen many photos and we're here in a flat in the 24th floor in the building A, which has a few of the skyline actually. So there's a little balcony 
from which I can already photograph the skyline. I'll show you the view in the second. Problem is I'm not high enough still. So the rooftop is at the 37th floor and this is really where I want to get for sunset or yeah, ideally for sunrise, but not sure if this is gonna work out with the opening hours. Problem here is they now require you to reserve a spot up there at least one day and at once. So that's one thing which is a little more complicated than at the expression suits. Also on this little form you fill, they say you're not allowed to bring a tripod. So I'm not yet sure how this is gonna work out if I'll be able to take photos up there. Gonna try this evening, see if they're cool about it or if they are very strict then this would be a big bummer because then, yeah, this building is no longer any good for landscape or architecture photographers who want to take photos of the skyline. It's just for the Instagrammers who take their selfies with a phone then, which would be sad. But anyways, I'm gonna try it. And yeah, I'm gonna give you a review afterwards, hopefully with a photo I can show you. If not, I'm gonna take photos from this balcony and also tomorrow I'm gonna head down to the city and take some other photos from other viewpoints. Anyways, I won't film up there most likely. Just want to find a spot, try to sneak in the tripod and see if I can take photos. But same as with the other building, gonna give you my review afterwards together with the photos. So as you can see, I'm on the rooftop. So you can also see a camera leaning on this wall here means I wasn't allowed to bring a tripod. So I checked with security. I even had my Airbnb host check with management, but they definitely don't allow tripods up here and you're not even allowed to bring a camera back. So also if you're thinking, oh, I could sneak in a tripod, not possible here. So that's the tripod, the only one up here. So if you're ever in regalia suits, want to take long exposures, it's possible if you're alone. Also, um, security has no problem with me putting my camera there. There's no direct drop, so there's still some area. So it's safe having the camera there. And I'm gonna take some long exposures now. I have the camera fairly close here to the edge, so I can even go wide angle and photograph this beautiful view. So it's a really nice view. Sky is not so nice this evening. Maybe blue hour provides a little bit of interest there. But I'm also gonna head up here tomorrow and then the day after I try the morning because they open at 7 a.m. Sunrise is around 7.10, so I might even catch sunrise up here. We'll see. But for now, I'm gonna take some photos. Hopefully I have something to show you before we head to the third apartment building. So it's time to show you the third view, the final apartment here in Kuala Lumpur. And it's the so-called Ceylon Suits building. And as you can see, it's a completely new angle. So the first apartment I think was somewhere over there. The second one more up in the north. And now we're here in the west. So we just see the Petronas Towers there, but only from the side. So it looks interesting. I'm currently shooting a vertical frame here might even make a panorama of this. And here's also the big tower, which we had in the other photos here from this building. I cannot include it because it's sticking out too much, but that's fine. I'm focusing just on the skyline here and it's really beautiful. So a very good location. Also, they don't have such yeah, crazy regulations about going up to the different levels. So for example, down there is a pool. This area opens at seven, I've been told, in the morning. It's up open until 12. But here, the rooftop, um, yeah, you can go here for sunrise, which is nice. It's a great area. You can walk all around, so look in every direction and yeah, take photos, which is very nice. So much easier. Uh, currently, also wasn't bothered with a tripod, so there's nobody here. Not sure if it's officially allowed or not, but there are at least no signs as in the regalia suits. So for photography, it's a very nice finish here. Um, prices for 
the suits here so I think there are a few hotels or not really hotels so um, on booking you find apartments which are facing this direction we actually have one in the 33rd floor so I could even photograph from there but the windows are very dirty so I can't shoot through there doesn't need to because of this nice area so I'm now gonna show you the photo the final photo then you can decide which view is the best please let me know what you think in the comments and also there are much more buildings with rooftops if you look around there are many skyscrapers many of those have either rooftop or even a pool so do your research if you visit Kuala Lumpur go through Airbnb booking and whatever site you're using check the photos often you'll see some photo taken from the pool most of the time it's not really the photo which really gives away the view you would photograph it's mostly focusing on the area the pool but if you look closely you often see ah there's an area where I could put my tripod and where there could be a view this is how I did it for the first building and this one so it was more like a leap of faith a bit but yeah I think this was a good decision here so that's it with this video if you liked it leave a thumbs up subscribe for more and yeah see you in the next video bye